Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today on Cool Talk episode 39 uh, we're going to go into some of my screwdrivers, specifically my USA made screw screwdrivers that I just picked up. Uh, just going to quickly compare them to my other sets but I'm mainly going to focus on showing you the new set of screwdrivers that I got for my workbox. Uh, the reason I picked these up is because the set that I had at work doesn't come with uh, the stubby screwdrivers and uh, I just wanted another set because the set that I had is an only an uh, eight piece set. So I figured I'd pick this set up just because uh, I heard a lot of good things about it. But uh, the ones that I have here at home is the JEG set, which I use probably the most often, and then my gear wrench set as well. Uh, I haven't had this set as long, but I really like this gear wrench set, and I was originally going to take it to uh, my workbox, but I think I'm going to use my new set at my workbox and see how they work out. Uh, I am going to link as many of these items in the description below, as well as a lot more tools that you've seen in my previous videos. So if you're looking for any items that I have here at home or in my workbox, a majority of them will be listed down in the description. So if you want to check those out, the links are there for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, let's start off with this JEG set. It's actually a 30 piece set and it runs $10. Uh, now, if you ask me personally, if you're going to go with the cheap set of screwdrivers, I think you will be really happy with these. Uh, just because they're a lot better than the Harbor Freight ones and stuff like that. Uh, and you still don't have to spend a buttload of money. It's $10 for the entire set. Now, when it says 30 piece set, you're not getting as much as you think. Uh, it's basically counting all the little bits for the little nut driver that it gives you or a bit driver that it gives you. It's not ratcheting or anything. But besides those and the precision screwdrivers that you get, you get like 10 of those, uh, the main screwdrivers they provide you with are actually pretty damn nice. Uh, now keep in mind that these shafts are just black uh, anodized. They're not black oxide. So it's basically like a coating over top of the shaft. So when you do use them, it is gonna chip away at it so it might give her give it a little bit different fitting on a screw um, but overall they're a really nice screwdriver they got a, a very strong magnetic tip I'm extremely happy with those the handles are much nicer than they have a 69 piece set as well through jigs and it runs $30 uh, but the handles are a lot different they're a little bit slippery whereas these are completely rubber and uh, they kind of got this, I don't even know what you would call that. I'll show you here in a second up close. But it also has cutouts for like your thumb on the handle. It's a very comfortable handle on these screwdrivers. So I'll show you a close up of that real quick. So this is what I was talking about. It's all rubber right here. Uh, it feels really good in the hand. You have these little cutouts here for your thumb. It's just extremely comfortable in the hand. But one thing about this set that you got to keep in mind, uh, it's not like a lot of the other professional screwdrivers. You don't have that uh, hex feature here to put like a wrench on or anything like that. Uh, but for a do-it-yourselfer, for $10, this is a really good set. I'll go ahead and show you the entire set now. Set digging it out of my toolbox. I found it here in the Jigs catalog. Right there at the bottom, $10. You have all these precision screwdrivers, all the bits for your little bit driver and then your main screwdrivers along with some stubbies. Uh, and then here's the 69 piece set. It's like Jig's best seller. But I, I really do think this set is a little bit nicer. Granted, you don't get the amount of screwdrivers that you would with the 69 piece set. But uh, besides those, like I say, you get your stubby screwdrivers in both Phillips and Flathead, uh, and then your average size screwdrivers as well. And those do have a nice strong magnetic tip and they're black uh, anodized. So it's like a coating on top of the metal shaft. Uh, then this is the set that I have at my workbox. This is the Matco 8-piece set. Uh, extremely comfortable handles. I didn't know what I would, or how I felt about like this felt that's on here, but it's actually pretty damn nice. Uh, the handle has like a triangular shape 
so it feels really good in the hand. Uh, instead of having that hex feature at the base, it's got like this plastic piece, which is really awkward to me. But these screwdrivers are made in Germany. It's a company, might mispronounce this, WITT, W-I-T-T-E. They're an extremely nice screwdriver set. Um, not sure what they run, but they're extremely nice. Uh, they are uh, black oxide here. Obviously, this is uh, painted, I believe. But with the oxide, you don't uh, have that extra thick coating over top of it. It's just precision. Uh, you don't have to worry about it chipping away or anything like that. And that set only comes with Phillips and Flathead as well and no stubby screwdrivers. So that's one of the reasons I got my new set. Then my set that I have here at home, this set does run around, I think it is uh, like 80 to hundred dollars. Might be cheaper. I will link it down below. So uh, I really would suggest this set. This is great for do-it-yourselfers or professionals. This is just a great variety of screwdrivers and really good quality. I believe it's made in Taiwan, not 100% correct or uh, sure, but I am 100% satisfied. You have a very uh, big variety of screwdrivers. Here you have your largest uh, flathead. As you can tell, it has that hex feature at the base of the screwdriver. Uh, on basically all the main screwdrivers, you got Phillips all on one side and flathead on the other. You have a pretty uh, good sized screwdriver over here for the Phillips. And then your main size, and they all have the hex feature at the bottom. Um, one thing I did also like about that is it includes two of the most common Torx screwdrivers as well. And then you get your precision screwdrivers, uh, Phillips and Flathead. And then uh, you have your stubbies. So it's a great set. Once again, this is uh, oxide as well, so it's not going to be a thick coat on the shaft of the screwdriver. It's uh, not going to chip on you or anything like that. And they also have a great magnetic tip. Um, like I stated, this is the GearWrench 20-piece master screwdriver set running around $80 or so. Uh, and I'm extremely happy with that. But let's get into what this video is actually about. Keep in mind, those are the sets that I have both here at home and at work. Now we're going to get into the set I just bought, the Tekton 8-piece screwdriver set. Keep in mind that they do have many different sizes of these sets. You can get it in, I think, a 4-piece set, this 8-piece set, a 12, and even larger, and the prices range from 15 to like $60, so it's really well priced, and uh, we're gonna get into a little bit more detail now. So this is the Tekton 8-piece set. As you can tell right here, it says Made in USA, which is just fantastic. I'm really glad that Tekton is making some of their products here in the USA. Keep in mind, when you order these sets, they do not come in like a holder or a tray for the screwdrivers. They just come in this simple uh, cardboard case. Um, it has a little bit different style for the handle, so we'll get into that a little bit more. It is a three-sided uh, handle. It is black oxide finish instead of anodized, so it doesn't have that uh, coating on there. It won't chip or anything, so that's something that I really like about these. Um, this is just simple Phillips and flathead, uh, no torques or anything like that, but you do get your stubby screwdrivers and your average size screwdrivers. Uh, the larger set does come with longer screwdrivers and, and a few more things like that, but uh, if you're interested in those, go ahead and check those out. This eight piece set is part number 26755, which will be linked in the description and you will be able to find the larger sets from this link right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into these. So first look at these, you really see the handle. That's the first thing you notice on these is just the shape of the handle. It's very almost awkward to look at. Uh, you would think how, how would that really feel in the hand and you don't think it would feel comfortable, but when you get your hand on them, you can tell they spent a good uh, amount of time designing this handle and it feels really good in the hand. Uh, you can tell it's not like other screwdrivers where you're going to be really trying to turn a screw and your hand slips around the handle or anything. You 
almost take no chance of slipping with this handle. Uh, they designed it very well. You got Tectin right over here in the handle. The thing that I like is they have the symbol on the top for Phillips or Flathead. They got the part number, size of the screwdriver, as well as USA printed on the top. The reason I like that is because this set is going to my workbox, which will be sitting in my service cart just like this, so I will easily uh, identify what screwdriver is what, if, if it's uh, Phillips or Flathead. So that's really nice. The red parts here are plastic, and then the entire black center section here is rubber, and it feels really nice. I gotta say, uh, they did a really good job on that. The or the uh, oxide blow up uh, on the shaft is really nice. Uh, they seem really clean, and so you have your, your, you know, your most common Phillips head right here, and then you have, you know, your two smaller ones. They get pretty small here. Um, that's a P0, P1, and P2, and then your stubby is going to be your most common, the P2. Uh, but even the stubby one feels really good in the hand, the way they designed it and everything. And one of the features that they show on their case is how you can kind of use this as a speed turner, because uh, you kind of got this grip up here, and then you can just hold your hand here and spin it. Uh, I guess that's something they pride themselves in. But uh, either way, it's extremely nice. And then you got your flathead, which I can't remember what they call this, but there's a bunch of small cuts or grooves in the actual flathead of the screwdriver. And uh, they did a really good job on it. I'll give you a close-up of it right now. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this set. So here's the shape of the handle. Let me find. Here's Tectin in the handle. You guys can read that in the front. Nice finish. Uh, let me see if I can capture this. You guys can see those lines. I can't remember what they call that. They're extremely clean screwdrivers. I'm extremely happy with this purchase. This eight-piece set, I believe, runs around twenty dollars. Uh, so it's a really good deal. Uh, I think. The smaller set runs like 10 or 15, and then the largest set they have I think is around 60 or 65. So that's a really good price for a screwdriver set, especially screwdrivers made here in the USA. Uh, something to be proud of. So that's why I got this set, and I wanted to show it to you guys. After I take it to my workbox and I use them a few times, I'll let you guys know uh, what I really think about them, and I actually have a good feeling on them. So uh, we'll get more into that, and maybe we'll do a comparison up against the uh, Matco screwdriver set that I have. Maybe I'll compare those together and see which one I like more. And you guys can let me know what you guys think. Uh, but if anybody out there has this set or a Tekton screwdriver set, let me know in the comments what you think of them and how you've liked them so far or haven't liked them. Uh, but I think I'm really going to enjoy this screwdriver set. And uh, I think it's really going to come in handy. Especially since I didn't have any stubby screwdrivers and these things tend to come in handy quite often. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Also, don't forget that I have a bunch of tools linked down, linked down in the description for you guys to check out. If you're interested in any of these tools, I try to link as much as I possibly can, so there's a big list. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.